After five years of record-breaking sales and sold-out concerts, One Direction is taking a break. But don't worry, their creator, Simon Cow, has new young talent to take their place. Introducing Luis, the anchor, teleprompter. <laughs> Dustin, the weatherman, full of vortex. <laughs> Daniel, the sportscaster, touchdown. <laughs> Julian, the producer, premiere pro. <laughs> the newsboys, get it? It's like jukebox, but they do the news. Good evening, Luis from Good evening, you. Junior's dues should be turned into Mrs. T, and senior's dues should be turned into Mrs. Jennings. Both are due by Friday, that's April 22nd, uh, in order to go to prom with no exceptions. And once you have paid your dues, you may pick up prom forms from Mrs. T or Mrs. Jennings. Remember that prom forms are due by Friday, that's April 29th, also with no exceptions. Ladies, if you're going to prom, remember that your prom dress cannot show cleavage or your navel. If you are not sure you your dress is appropriate, please bring a picture to Mrs. Weinerth or Mrs. Brown for approval. If you need assistance with getting a dress for prom, please see Mrs. Brown. The Mr. Bulldog pageant is scheduled to take place Sunday, this Sunday, that's April 10th at 5. The Man in the Can collection is all week um, during your lunch block, so show your support for your favorite uh, Mr. Bulldog candidate by stuffing their can and they will thank you for their support. Seniors, don't forget that the Charity League scholarship deadline has been extended to April 8th, that is this Friday. Anyone interested in becoming a member of CHIL, uh, applications are available in the main office or you can speak with a uh, CHIL board member. Remember that the deadline for applications to be turned in is April 12th. Any students who plan to take these May 7th SATs should keep in mind The uh, deadline date for registration is April 8th, this Friday, and late registration is April 26th. If you have any questions, you should see Mr. Williams or Mrs. Patterson. Now here's WMHSH meteorologist Dustin Staples with our weather. We started our day off with clouds again. Today we want to continue to end those with clouds right now sitting at 58 degrees with partly cloudy sky. The breezes will be diminishing throughout the main of the evening. But uh, wind will continue to pick up tomorrow as we head in towards our Friday. We'll be seeing mostly to partly sunny skies. Highs will be in the low to middle 60s right there at that too. So the breezes will diminish again and they'll pick back up right as well as a clipper system is affecting the area. Now we're going to go check out our sports. Good evening. I'm Daniel Pay with your sports. For Friday, April 8th, there will be a boys varsity tennis matches against Franklin County at the Franklin County High School at 4.30, with boys JV and varsity baseball games taking place against Halifax County. The varsity game will be at Halifax County High School at 5, and the boys JV game will be here at the high school at 5 p.m. as well. There will also be a girls varsity softball game against Halifax County at Halifax County High School at 5 as well. There will also be boys and girls JV and varsity soccer games against Halifax County. The boys games will take place at Halifax County High School at 5.30 and 7.15. And the girls games will be here at the high school at 5.30 and 7.15 as well. And there will also be boys and girls outdoor track varsity track meets against William Fleming at the William Fleming High School at 8.30. Thank you for watching MHS this evening. Join us tomorrow.